challenge whether I look petty or small to be true to my character and true to my honor. I have met this man. I consider him to be my friend. I consider him to act in an honorable way. There's a lot of things that have gone on in this campaign that you're not privy to. I'm not coming here to go in there and to say things about people here except you ask me, you ask me a simple question. And true to my honor and honesty, I answered it to you as, as best I can. Thank you. Um, getting back to that condo law 718, there was a bill on Governor Chris' desk to sign something that would alleviate some of the pain of the uh, unit owners in Florida. And uh, do you know why he refused to sign that bill? That's number one. Number two, do any of you really know what's in that health reform bill? Everybody talks about it. Does anybody really know what it's all about? Governor Christ hasn't signed that bill because he doesn't think it's something that can be enforced. Uh, one of the problems with that particular issue is, is you can't change contract law after the fact. And he hasn't signed that bill because he doesn't believe it would hold up in the courts here in Florida. So that, I believe, is, is, is Governor Chris's issue for not signing that bill. So really, it changes contract law, the contract that was established and you can't really change contract law after the fact. Second part of your question again was health care, right? And, and uh, do you really know what's in the bill? I don't think Harry Reid knows what's in the bill. I don't think Nancy Pelosi knows what's in the bill. We already know John Conyers doesn't know what's in the bill, because he's admitted it, and he said it would take days to read through a bill, and that's if you had a couple other attorneys helping you. Now, when he made that statement, Guess what John Connors is? He's an attorney, and he can't even understand the bill. Well, how so, can you be against it if you don't know what's in it? Because here's the key, okay? First of all, it violates the Tenth Amendment, violates the Constitution of the United States. I won't approve anything that violates the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> this document does not change. No time in history, as I said in my earlier speech, have we been forced to buy a good or service from a for-profit company. So I cannot support the bill based upon that alone. But secondly, we also know that it's looking at cutting over $500 billion. Now they say that they're going to wave the magic wand, and all of a sudden they're not going to have that $50 billion of waste every year. Well, I say, why didn't you wave that wand a long time ago? The problem is, is this is a control issue. This is government control. It's an erosion of our freedom. In 1940, the average tax was 20 cents on the dollar. That meant if you earned a dollar, 80 cents, you got to choose how to spend it. The other 20 cents, the government chose. Currently, it's 40 cents on the dollar. That's an erosion of freedom. You get to choose how to spend 60 cents on the dollar. Now the government gets to choose how to spend 40 cents of your money on, on the dollar. Now you take health care. And in their own government write-ups, health care in the 10 years is going to be 21% of our gross domestic product. And that means 60 cents of every dollar you earn is going to be controlled by the government. That's not good enough for me. Ma'am, on your first part of the question, I have no idea why the government governor did. This is a political season right now, so anything can go. Concerning the health care, you say, if we don't know uh, what's in the bill, how can you be against it? Because I am not going to I am not going to vote yes for any bill. I haven't read and you haven't read. And so what it comes down to is we found out now, over the last 20 years or so, they haven't been reading the bills. And that, and that reality has, has sunk in to say, you can probably go through all these thousands of bills. We don't even know what the provisions are in the bills. And I'll go one step further, ma'am. We don't even know who wrote them. 
The stimulus bill was written by the communist who had to resign, who was the head of the Green Committee, that didn't even know what a green job was and didn't have one created, but they sure spent millions.